drama. You are not my real dad. You just need to stop. The resolution. How you think you're gonna take care of a kid? You're 14. It's all today on Trisha. Wild teens. You need to shut up. I had sex with over 50 guys. She tested positive for chlamydia from sleeping with her. Now 15-year-old Katie is doing drugs and having sex with older men. You're sleeping with a 25-year-old? Who's a 25-year-old, Katie? I don't need to tell you. And it gets worse. Are you pregnant? I don't know if I'm pregnant. 14-year-old Brianna claims she's been with over 50 men. Are we talking about safe sex or unprotected sex? That's none of nobody's business. Is she already paying the price for her wild ways? Brianna was tested for sexually transmitted diseases. Brianna had four tests done, and I have to tell you. Could this teen be my greatest challenge to date? She told me that you say the wrong thing to her, she's just going to smack you. Plus, when we first met, Chrissy was madder and badder than either of these two girls. How old are the guys that you're bringing in? Wrong. I think wrong with lots of money. After being on my show, she turned her life around. She's back with some tough talk for our guests. Girl, you think ain't nobody gonna pick you up and rape you? I know this for a thing. Today on Trisha. and her husband, Mike. They're here because Brenda's 15-year-old daughter, Katie, is not only drinking and having sex, but she also has a dangerous temper. In fact, during a drug fueled rage, Katie punched Brenda and repeatedly kicked Mike in the groin. Now, Katie's 17-year-old sister, Courtney, was her partner in crime, was, but today she's sitting in a detention center and Brenda is terrified Katie will end up behind bars too. Now, first, let's start with what 15-year-old Katie had to say. My name is Katie. I'm here because my mom thinks that I'm out of control. I became sexually active last year in April. I've had eight partners since then. I've had an STD before. It turned out that I had chlamydia. I like to have sex with older guys who are probably around the age of 18. Um, the oldest guy that I had sex with was at the age of 25. I've had probably four or five pregnancy scares. I do have unprotected sex. The reason why I have unprotected sex is because there's never a condom around for us to use. The physical fights between me and my mom, they get pretty bad. One of the times she actually had to sit on top of me just so I couldn't get up, but I kept punching her and kicking her. It got pretty bad. This school year, I was suspended at least eight times. One of the reasons why I got suspended was because I beat up this one girl. I got sent away to a detention center and also a foster care because I was running away and doing drugs. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. They can think whatever they want because I'm not gonna change. I am who I am and if they don't like it, they can just deal with it. Wow. Now. And saying that some part of that took you by surprise because I heard you sort of go, Whoa, did you yeah, hear I didn't something? I didn't know about the 25 year old. You didn't know well, about I, mean, I know there's some guys, but I didn't know there's that. Let's old. come, let's come to mum, Brenda. Um, you look shocked as well. Did you what did you hear that you didn't know before? The same thing. I want to know who this guy is. This is the first that you've heard your daughter's been with a 25 <laughs> yes. year old man. Well, I know they're older guys, but, but I well, that older guy is a like pedophile, isn't he? Yeah, right. It's a pedophile we're talking about. Yeah. Let's call it with uh, underage yeah. sex we're talking about. How many sexual partners did you think she'd had? Five. Five? Yeah. And so when did you find out she became sexually active? Just um well, I found out last year maybe it was. How but... did you find out? Her sister and some of her friends ratted on her. Now, uh, drink and drugs, what brought that to your attention? Um, Was it you, Mike? Did you... Well, she didn't want to, uh, her, her older sister started doing it first, and then she turned her younger sister out. She turned Katie out, and then, but she didn't want to believe me at first when I was telling them that they were getting high. Mrs. Brenda high. didn't want to believe yeah, you. Yeah, she didn't want to believe me at first. She was just like, well, whatever, they're just smoking cigarettes or whatever, and 
Just you know, smoking cigarettes. Yeah, well, I mean, I, yeah. 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 She was just in denial. She didn't want to believe it that well, they were, they were my kids. Babies. Were... Why were you... So did you two argue because you pointed yeah. this all out to Brenda? Yeah. Yeah. Now, so what kind of drugs are we talking about? Spice. Weed, uh, over-the-counter cold medicines. Their favorite thing was cold the cortisone. Cold medicine. And I understand you went around with photographs. Yeah, we went around. They were shoplifting from the stores, like from the Family Dollars. And Wise the Wise and... So what did you do with the photos of them? We, we, we took them around and showed them to the people in the store so they, so they would watch for them to steal them. You know, so they couldn't steal you know, we say they see him trying to steal him, they went. Okay, so what happens when you try to discipline her? Does she sh shout at you? Shouts, flip, flips what out, cusses. What does you she know, call you? The, uh, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anything that comes out of her mouth. And I'm... she's actually physically fought you? Yes, oh yes. Punched me in the face, kicked me in the stomach, everything. Her sister's in detention center, yes. so when, when her sister was kind of removed, <laughs> did Katie's behavior change at all? She hasn't been using drugs that I know of. But, but she's still having sex. Still having sex and doing whatever she wants, runs away, skips school. When you say runs away, how Leaving long? Leaving the house at night Leaving for hours. Leaving the house at night for hours. Going wherever. Cops will bring her home. So when she gets picked up by the, the cops for these curfew violations, is there a fine or something? Yeah, oh, yeah she has fines. She has lots of community service well, she hours to do. It. do. She won't and do it. And the fine, is it a, fine, a, a money fine? Yeah. Who pays that? Well, she has to because Good. they know that I'm trying my best and doing what I can for my But child. hang on, where did she get the money from? Well, she can't. So her thing is now she has to do community service and that they will take care of the fines, but she won't do the community service. She's going mm. to get taken back to court and then she'll get placed in the detention center. All right, so I'm guessing as she's caught, she's, she has caught an STD in the past. Yes. How did you find that out? She called me one day. She was at the hospital by herself. And I'm like, what are you doing at the hospital by yourself? She's an emergency. What did they tell you? She told me afterwards that she had a bladder infection. But? Here was chlamydia. Oh! Pregnancy scares? Oh, my God. She's gotten tested at the hospitals, at the family doctor. I had bought her out how many tests. How, how many are we talking about? How many times is... I know. I bought her, like, between four and six tests. She's oh. at the hospital three to probably three times that I know about, and she just told me yesterday that she's trying to get pregnant. She might be pregnant now. She could be. Yeah, I hope to God not. Um, what about things like tattoos and things like oh, that? Oh, God. I uh, <laughs> gave permission for a little tattoo, a saying. Why? Well, it was for my was brother for, that passed away. It was for her it was, uncle's it was for passing her uncle. away. So write his name in, in pen. Yes, you know? I understand that. Yes. <laughs> What's the tattoo? A little tattoo? Uh, no. It was supposed it to be was a little tattoo. And now it's this thing. And then she got her so called boyfriend's name tattooed across here. Yeah. Are you scared that she's going to start selling her body for drugs? Yeah, I had heard that she did before. Oh. Did you confront her with this? Yeah, but she just lies all the time. So she could be, let's use the right term, she could be prostituting herself for, yeah. for, yeah. for drugs. Yes. So what about school? She's doing horrible in school. She leaves school whenever she wants to. She just won't get out of bed to go to school. And she said she gets into fights. She gets into fights, yep. Um, she's ignorant to the teachers. She tells them to shut the up. And she, uh, her principal <clears throat> caught her making out with this boy. Like, I guess it was really bad. You know, they were really into it, hot and heavy. Boy. At school? In, yeah, at school. school. In front at of school. Everybody. Well, they're supposed to be in class. So your biggest fear for her is what? That she ends up on the street? That she ends up dead. Dead? Yeah. I'm so scared for her. Okay. Does she get that? <laughs> no. Was... We would go looking for days and days for her and her sister because they'd run away. So your relationship is being affected as well, yeah. I'm guessing, by all of this. Oh, yeah. Is it easier when, when, let's be honest, is it easier when Katie isn't there? Yes. Yeah. But I want her there. I want her to get help. I want her to get better. And... All right. I want her family back. Okay, well, let's, let's meet this so-called wild child and see what she has to say for herself. So let's meet Katie. Up next. You need to shut the f up. Oh. What f are you crying? Because of how you act. You are you not my real dad. You just need to stop. And later. Could this teen be my greatest challenge to date? How many guys would you say you'd had sex with? I don't feel like I need to say that. Out of control teen. You are not my real dad. Today on Trisha. My name is Katie. I'm here because my mom thinks that I'm out of control. 
I became sexually active last year in April. I've had eight partners since then. I've had an STD before. It turned out that I had chlamydia. I like to have sex with older guys who are probably around the age of 18. Um, the oldest guy that I had sex with was at the age of 25. The physical fights between me and my mom, they get pretty bad. I don't care what anybody thinks of me. They can think whatever they want because I'm not gonna change. This is the first that you've heard your daughter's been with a 25 year old yes. man. She's actually physically fought you? Yes, oh yes. Punched me in the face, kicked me in the stomach, everything. Are you scared that she's gonna start selling her body for drugs? I had heard that she did before. She could be prostituting herself for, yes. for, yeah. for drugs. Yes. Well, let's, let's meet this so-called wild child and see what she has to say for herself. So let's meet Katie. Up. And why the f are you crying? Because of how you act. You are not my real dad. You just need to stop. Have a seat. Have a seat. Um, when did you become sexually active? I became sexually active last year in April. When I, you were 13? I was 14, but... 14. How old was the guy? The guy, he was 18 years old. So he was having sex with a minor. Your mum wonders if you're selling your body for money. You're a prostitute, are you? No, I'm not selling my body for money. What makes you think that she is? Because I was told before that she was. I wouldn't do that. That's just stupid. Or drugs or money. It's, but it you're sleeping matter. with Still a 25-year-old? Who's a 25-year-old, Katie? I don't need to tell you. Grown men who have sex with uh, minors are pedophiles, right? I hope I don't find out who he is. So what about the cops bringing you home after curfew? I'd just walk around town getting high. That was it. Hanging out with friends. What did you get high on? I'd take pills. I'd go to the store, steal pills, and oh. take them. Is it true what your mom said, that you're actually trying to get pregnant? Yeah, I was. Are you pregnant? I don't know if I'm pregnant. Oh. I want my family back, and your sister's going to be coming home soon. We'll come to that pregnancy issue in a moment, because we've got Dr. Tabitha Fort with us, and um, she's going to take you backstage, if that's okay with you, and do a pregnancy test with you to find out. Uh, I've written one word down there, and. It's violence at home. Uh, whenever me and my mom get into fights, uh, this, this one fight that we had before, uh, she had to sit on top of me, but I kept punching her and kicking her. Trying Have you to get seen her violence between mom and Mike? Yeah, uh, this one time he had a hold of her on her bed and she was yelling for me. And uh, like she was like, call the cops, Katie, call the cops. Because he had a hold of her head, slamming her head against the wall. <laughs> No, that's not, that's no. not true. I was, I was yelling for you, yes. He was trying to take my cell phone. phone from me. Yes, that was true, and I yelled for okay, you. Okay, let me, let me talk to you. Were you scared? I was scared. What, why were you, what were you frightened of? I was frightened that he was going to kill my mom. Hmm? <laughs> I was frightened that he was going to kill my mom. Because you don't know what's happening as a little girl. Do you know what the phrase acting out is? Yeah. Do you think you're a, a mad girl, a bad girl, or a sad girl? Just mad and upset. Mm. Angry? You got anger issues? Yeah. Does sex take away some of those anger issues? Somewhat. When do you feel most loved and cuddled? When some boy comes on to you, am I right? Yeah. That's not love. That's sex. <laughs> okay. If you could make things better, would you? I would. Do you want to try some things that would be good just for you? It's just you being totally selfish. Maybe. I maybe. can't work with a maybe, I can only work with a yes or no. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number one first, pregnancy test, because I don't want to see another child in care. <laughs> okay? So we'll do that first, and then we'll take it from there. All right? All right. Okay. Now, you've got to help me get off my damn knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right? There we go. Coming up, 
Could this team be my greatest challenge to date? She told me that you say the wrong thing to her, she's just gonna smack you. Oh! Did you really say that? Yeah, I sure did. And later, when we first met, Chrissy was madder and badder than either of these two girls. She's back. Girl, you think ain't nobody gonna pick you up and rape you? Team. You are not my real dad. Today on Trisha. Okay, this is this is Teresa, and this is her 14-year-old daughter, Brianna, who is only in the eighth grade. Now, Brianna admits to having sex with over 50 different men in the last eight months. In fact, Brianna claims she is a real-life sex addict. Now, one time, Brianna risked her life by leaving a store with a complete stranger, only to be found three days later in a drug-induced haze. Now, before we talk to her terrified mother, Teresa, here's a glimpse into the mindset of 14-year-old Brianna. Brianna, tell me why you're here. I'm here because, I mean, I love having sex. I love have, to have fun. I like to run away. I like arguing. That's just who I am. When did you start acting this way? I started acting this way last year after my first time of having sex. I was 13 years old when I started having sex. So, Brianna, how many guys have you had sex with? I had sex with like 50, over 50 guys. Do you feel like you have an addiction to having sex? I wouldn't call having sex and an addiction. I just call it something that people enjoy. You have unprotected sex? Sometimes. I mean, it depends on if they got protection or if I got protection. If we both don't have protection, then it just happens like that. You don't worry about diseases or anything like that? I've never thought about it like that. I've just thought about Everybody die, has to die at a certain point in time. So, I mean, stuff happens. Just live your life to where it, it ends, I guess. Teresa, how does it feel seeing your 14-year-old daughter say those things? It hurts. The disrespect, the running away, the fear that one day when your baby runs away, you're never going to see her again. When did this start? It started about eight months ago. I started working overnight. I also found out my sickness got a little bit worse. What, I have what's, a, can I ask what that is? I have thyroid cancer. Oh. And when I found out I had cancer, I stopped being strict on my kids because I didn't want to die and my kids think of me as being a bad mom. Do you think you are a bad mom? Well, she doesn't like me. What does she say to you? What does she call you? She says, I'm fat, I'm embarrassing, that I'm a stupid bitch. She says she's never going to stop having sex. She's had a couple different venereal diseases. Like what? Like what? She's had chlamydia and gonorrhea. So towards you, has she ever hit you or pushed you or done anything like that? Oh, yeah. She pushes me. Physically pushes yeah. you? I try to restrain her from getting out to the boys. She'll push me down. She tells me she can't wait for me to die from my cancer. What do you think is going to happen to your daughter if she keeps on the way she is? She's going to die. Is her little sister very different? Her, yeah, her little sister is 12. She's a straight-A student. She does not get in no trouble But do all. boys think that she's, let me put it this way, an easier target as her big sister? Yeah, they have got her on the way home from school and have grabbed her. So she must be scared to go to school now. Yeah, she ran in the house crying, saying that she's not gonna, 
walk to school no more. Do you she know if she's caught and got another STD? What, what's the situation at the moment? Do you know? She says that now. Wow. Well, clearly this situation is dire. So yesterday we put Brianna in touch with Dr. Tabitha Fort, a board certified physician here in our area. Now she... <laughs> she agreed to test... Brianna for STDs and Teresa and Brianna graciously allowed our cameras to follow. We'll see that a bit later. But, okay, your message is that if things don't change, you're scared you lose your daughter. Yes, and it's always older people. She, she don't like people her own age. How old are we talking about? Um, well, when I found her, he looked like he was about 40-something. <gasps> So we're talking really, let's be honest, if she's having sex with guys that old, or any guy who knows she's how, how, how old, 14 years of age, yes. we're talking about paedophilia. Yeah. We're yeah. talking about paedophile. Yeah. All right. So I think it's time we meet Brianna. So come on out, Brianna. Coming up... Could this team be my greatest challenge to date? She told me that you say the wrong thing to her, she's just gonna smack you. Oh! Did you really say that? Yeah, I sure did. And later. Brianna had four tests done. And I have to tell you. Oh! You are the power. You're up on stage. Team. You are not my real dad. Today on Trisha. I'm here because, I mean, I love having sex. I love have, to have fun. I was 13 years old when I started having sex. I had sex with like 50, over 50 guys. What does she say to you? What does she call you? She says, I'm fat, I'm embarrassing that I'm a stupid bitch. She shoves me. She's had chlamydia and gonorrhea. What do you think is gonna happen to your daughter if she keeps on the way she is? She's gonna die. I think it's time we meet Brianna. So come on out, Brianna. <laughs> so, Brianna, how are you and your mum getting on? I'm getting along. You think you have a, a good relationship? Oh, uh, I guess. Sex with men. How many guys would you say you'd had sex with? I don't feel like I need to say that. <laughs> On the tape, we heard you say you had sex with, I don't know how many guys, 50 guys. Were we talking about safe sex or unprotected sex? That's none of nobody's business. Well, yeah. it, is, it is somebody's business if you're getting sexually transmitted diseases. You've had chlamydia? That's and... not none of your business. That's my mom's business. And your mom told us yes. you had. And I'm making it her business. And you're 14, you need to tell me. She's a good mom. And she's ill, you know that? She don't seem ill. Have you had chemotherapy? I don't get chemotherapy because um, Brianna has stated to me that if she had a mother that lost her hair, she would never want to be around me. Oh. Hey, hey. Man, hey. shut the hell up! Hey, but you... I understand. But if you don't have chemo... Have you been told you have to have chemotherapy? They told me it would be better to get chemotherapy. You need to get chemotherapy. You, no, you, she don't. She'll die without it. I'm being she'll serious. die with it, too. I had chemotherapy. I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Chemotherapy. <laughs> Hang on, what did you say? That made my granddad sick. I'm not going to let her do that. I'm sick every day. I'm sick all the time. Are you Why getting are you worse? Crying? If you don't have chemotherapy and your illness gets to a certain point, I guess the girls will go into care, huh? Yeah, so you're ready for that, to go into care? I don't know, and I really don't care. I don't think about the future. And what is in the present? Life is good? Yeah. Okay, now your sister and you, how do you get on? Your little sister and you? She pisses me off when she worries about me. You think you're a good example for her? You'd like to see her follow in your happy footsteps with guys? I mean, they're already coming on to her because of you. Hey, why not? You said you're gangster. 
<laughs> you said that she's too gangster for you. She told me that um, when she comes on the show, you say the wrong thing to her. She's just going to smack you. Oh. Did you really say that? Oh. Yeah? I sure did. Oh. If you were to do that, I would, I would actually reach out to help you. And what I would do to help you is to have you arrested and you can go through the criminal system. <laughs> then... Brianna's 12-year-old sister, Courtney, has been backstage. She hasn't listened to any of this. I didn't want her to hear this. But there is something that she wants to say to you. So uh, let's have Courtney come out and join us on stage. <laughs> How do you feel about your sister and what she's doing? I don't like it at all. Well, what, what frightens you about it? That she's going to leave home one day and, like, she'll never come back home. Have you been scared for her? Yes, ma'am. And does she have sex with older guys? Does that scare you as well? Yes, ma'am. How do you know that she does all of that? I've had um, high school boys follow me home and try to smack my butt and tell me that I oh should start f***ing their f like my sister does. Did you know that? I mean, yeah, did you, did but... You know so, let me get this right. So, Brianna is 14 and Courtney's 12. I'm just wondering why Courtney comes across as more mature than her sister. I don't understand. <laughs> you have a family... You have a family that loves you, Brianna, that wants to see you do better. I get the feeling you're very lost. I get the... The first thing I asked, and we're going to come back to this later, the first thing I asked when I read about you is... Somebody introduced this little girl to sex when she was a, a little girl. And guess what? Men continue to take advantage of you your whole life. <laughs> so we're going to take a break. Stay with us. Coming up... When we first met, Chrissy was madder and badder than either of these two girls. She's back. Girl, you think ain't nobody gonna pick you up and rape you? I know this for a fact. And later. Now, both Brianna and her mother felt it was crucial Brianna be tested for sexually transmitted diseases. Brianna had four tests done, and I have to tell you... Team. You are not my real dad. Today on Trisha. Today, we've been talking to families desperate to save their wild teen daughters. We've got 14-year-old Brianna and 15-year-old Katie. Both admit to being involved in drugs at some stage and sex. So, Brianna, we asked you where you saw yourself in five years' time. Now that I think about it, if I keep on doing what I'm doing, I see myself in jail or under a grave stone. What made you think about it? Um, hearing her story. Did you hear when Katie was crying? Yeah. I was backstage crying too. Were you? Yeah. Why, sweetheart, why? Because um, she was talking about losing her mom. Are you scared of you losing your mom? I mean, really? Yes, Cancer's a really scary thing, isn't it, sweetheart? You know, when I told my daughters that I, I had breast cancer a few years ago, and as a mum, I felt really guilty for having cancer. And there's two ways you can do it. You can do it on your own, or you can say to your kids, we will get through this as a team. <laughs> a while back, we met, or I met, a 15-year-old girl named Chrissy, who was not only sexually active and acting out of control, she was acting actually pimping out her girlfriends. Take a look at this. Y'all go to hell. Get the f down. Since when Yo, you tell me what? Get down my face. You, 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 you. 
Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Why? Is it true you're sleeping with all the men? They come to the house and my holes. They my girls. How old are your girls? In my age. Ain't nothing wrong with it at all. How old are the guys that you're bringing in? Wrong. Nothing wrong with lots of money. When you get half the money? Yeah. Money. They asked you for a 10-year-old girl, an 8-year-old girl, you would procure that for them? Yes, I would. Oh, they would. like them young, too. Who can you rely on? Nobody. Huh? Get off of me! Are you kind of stuck? <laughs> no. No. Angry? <laughs> Lost? I'm very angry. Very angry. <laughs> now, fortunately, Chrissy has cleaned up her act, and I am so, so glad that she is here today to tell these young women exactly where their lives are headed if they don't straighten up and change things. So come on out, Chrissy. <laughs> to say to Brianna and Casey? You think that jail is the least of your worries? I'm telling you now, you don't want to end up in a ditch. You could be dead. You hurting your parents. Look at them. Look at them. Your mama is crying. You don't care about that? I do care. Obviously, you don't. And you, you are 14. Sleeping with 50 dudes? You know, if I'd known you, I would have pimped you. I would have been pimped you. You think this is cute? Y'all think dressing like this is cute is not cute? You think ain't nobody gonna pick you up and rape you? I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. My has been raped by three dudes. How do you think she feels? If you pregnant, girl, how do you think you gonna take care of a kid? You're 14. Now, Chrissy, this, this young woman has come so far. Have, have things have really changed? Yes, they have. Are you proud of her? Yes, I am. I know I'm not her mom, I'm proud of her. So, you know something? Um, uh, these, these two young ladies are just as beautiful. Can I say something? Yeah. You say I'm ugly, fat. I didn't even go through chemo for you. But she told me backstage, Mom, you're going to go through that. She's 12. So if you don't like me or you don't want to do nothing, that's fine. But I'm going to do this for her. And you're going to sweat it out for me. I know it's scary. It's gonna be okay. It's, it it's is gonna, gonna be okay. Happen. I'm sorry. It's gonna be okay. That's Mommy, what you really I'm want. I'm so sorry. Let's take a bit of a break because when we come back, we will get the results of Brianna's STD tests and Katie's pregnancy test. Stay tuned. Next. Now, both Brianna and her mother felt it was crucial Brianna be tested for sexually transmitted diseases. Brianna had four tests done, and I have to tell you. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Team. You are not my real dad. Today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Throughout the season, we've heard shocking story after story in our series, Teen Girls Bad Choices. And today we're here with 14-year-old Brianna and 15-year-old Katie, who up to a point were saying they didn't see a problem with their wild and extremely promiscuous behavior. Now, Brianna, I understand you, you met a young guy. We had hidden cameras filming that while you were in our green room. We're gonna have a, a look and see uh, what we captured. And What's your I'm name? I'm Kit. Brianna. Brianna Doria. Oh, nice to meet you. How old are you? How old do I look? You look about 18. 
Really? Oh, thank you. Are you Asian? No, I'm black, but my grandpa's Filipino. I pop pills. Mm -hmm. I pop X pills, Xanax pills, tabs. I love jerky. I just love the feeling of me feeling dizzy. You are short. Oh, yeah, since kindergarten. <laughs> So, Brianna, what did you think of that guy? He looks, was I he, thought he was cute. He was quite a good-looking guy. Mm -hmm. Teresa, what did Brianna tell you about that young guy? Did she say, Ooh, you know? She said that had the girl not have been there, she probably would have done something with Ooh. him. Brianna, let me just tell you, the young man's name is Dorian, and uh, he taped you a personal message. Check this out. Hi, Brianna. It was really nice meeting you yesterday. I enjoyed talking to you, and I'm flattered that you thought I was cute and wanted to hang out. Listen, Brianna, I need you to know that just because someone flatters you and makes you feel good at the moment doesn't mean they really care for you. They're just saying that just so they can have sex with you. And just because someone looks healthy, you can't assume it's safe to have sex with them. I look cute, I look young, and I look cool, but I need you to know that I'm HIV positive. Brianna, you're a smart and beautiful young lady, but you have to be careful with the decisions you're making and who you sleep with. I would hate to see you suffer in life. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Shocked. And that's someone who is an activist who actually told you about it. You think any other guy would tell you about it? Why would they? Mm -hmm. Teresa, you look shocked as well. I mean, what mother wouldn't be? We want it to show you and other young women, young people, young men and young women, you cannot tell a person's sexual history or what they may or may not have by the fact they're cute, not cute, this high, this colour, this whatever. You cannot tell until it is too late. before, as you know, Dr. Tabitha Fort is also here with us. Dr. Fort, thank you for being here. Um, now, earlier, Dr. Fort agreed to give Brianna an STD uh, test and Katie a pregnancy test. So first I want to go to Katie's results first. So Katie's pregnancy test is negative. Goodness, of <laughs> relief. Now, both Brianna and her mother felt it was crucial Brianna be tested for sexually transmitted diseases. So it's time to reveal those results. Um, and I believe you have the results from the test you took yesterday. Brianna had four tests done, and I have two of the tests. I have the HIV and the syphilis. Okay. And I have to tell you, both of them are negative. More luck. But okay. remember, I did four tests. Uh, there's two tests that are still pending, chlamydia and gonorrhea, and the herpes test. Can my sister come up on the stage for a minute? Come on, Courtney. I am so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. First, I've seen Katie like cry. I know she's hurting, and I think she's realizing what she's been doing to herself. Can you all change the friction, perhaps, in the family, oh, and how yeah. you how you deal with things and the fighting between you? When you tell her to respect herself, to not let guys treat her that way, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, if she thinks she's seeing Mum do exactly that, then she she's not going to listen to you. Are you going to stay in touch with us? Can we build on the team? Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. Um, we'll be back. Out of control team. You are not my real dad. Today on Trisha. <laughs> okay. Thank you, 
for joining us. Um, if you're sitting at home and you have a teen girl or a teen boy and you want to bring them on the show because you know they need to change the way they're behaving, then uh, get in contact with us through Facebook or the number on the screen. We would love to hear from you. Take care. Bye.